Now, the key to simplifying this analysis is to note that even though each operation we're counting here takes a different amount of time, it's always a small amount of time that does not depend on how big its input is. And every time you install a new version of Dr. Racket or upgrade your computer, that small amount of time is going to change anyway. I mean, who knows, maybe next month, Kongs is going to become twice as fast and first and rest are going to become five times as fast and whatever. So because in computer science, we're interested in the long run after any number of upgrades, a computer scientist will treat all these small operations as about the same and count them all together as the input grows. And while we're at it, because we never specified the time unit used here, we might as well count these eight steps as one, and these eight steps as one, and these three steps as one, kind of like we're just counting one uh, serving of steps on each row. To be careful here, the only reason we can fudge the numbers like this and treat eight and three as about the same amount of time is that the difference between eight and three doesn't get any bigger when the input to the program gets bigger. So our conclusion is, it takes three steps to add to the end of a two-element list.